Today, we need to discuss a very serious issue. Can carbon buildup destroy my direct injection engine or GDI? The short answer, yes. But let's take a more thorough look at what the causes are and what we may be able to do to prevent this. As you probably already know, carbon buildup is caused from oil vapor coming through the PCV system through blow-by, usually around the piston rings, working its way into the crankcase, and you have a PCV valve that allows the vapors to go through, and unfortunately, oil vapors go through with the blow-by and work its way to the intake valves, where typically, on a gasoline port injection engine, you know the gasoline actually washes off the intake valve stems but not on a direct injection engine. It sprays directly into the combustion chamber. Now that we're all caught up, if you need a more thorough answer, check out my recent videos to find out a thoroughly explained issue about the GDI and the carbon buildup issues and how PCV systems actually work. Now, what's actually happening is not only is the carbon buildup adding up onto the stems of the intake valves, this can cause poor performance because it's blocking off the intake and it's not getting the correct amount of air. And if you know your engine is similar to an air compressor, so it's causing it to work much, much harder. Now, what can you do? You could actually clean this off through walnut blasting or you can use an intake valve cleaner but a lot of people are afraid if they did use an intake valve cleaner that it would cause the carbon buildup to break off in chunks moving on to possibly getting stuck on the valve and it could cause it to bend the valve, maybe even break it. Not to mention it can go down into your catalytic converter and cause your converter to be damaged or burned up. That's not the only problem. You have to worry about your turbo if you in fact have a turbo because your turbo can be damaged as well from the same issue. We also have LSPI, low speed pre-ignition. There's a lot of things that have been done to try to prevent this. Preventive maintenance is key after all with engine oil and companies such as Valvoline and the new standards by the API American Petroleum Institute have set specifications just for this to try to help with the problems the carbon buildup and the LSPI issues that we're having, particularly with the direct injection and turbo engines, because these smaller engines have a lot more stress on them and they need a little bit more maintenance. Now, if you're thinking you're just going to avoid these engines, unfortunately, you're not really going to have much of an option because the standards are going up higher and higher and they have set dates and time. The federal government does that they have to mandate and meet certain specifications by that selected time for gas mileage, performance, emissions, and direct injection has allowed them to do so much more, accounting for every single molecule of fuel that's being used. And the Valvoline's modern engine oil formula is actually made specifically for this to help you combat the carbon buildup issues that we're having. Now, not to mention the other issues at hand. So there's a big problem with oil dilution from the direct injection engine as well. And after many studies performed by Valvoline, they've also found that you can actually have carbon buildup that gets into the combustion chamber and lodges or jams into the piston ring, causing the engine to burn an extremely high amount of engine oil. So you could have this problem if you're burning a lot of oil and you check your PCV valve to find out if it's the cause, if it's stuck open or closed or something of that nature. Or in fact, the carbon buildup could even scratch the cylinder walls. So you can see the carbon buildup or carbon deposits can cause so many different problems. Now, what about the intake valve cleaning? because a lot of people can't afford to take their vehicle into a shop or they don't have the know-how or tools to just take the intake manifold off their self and perform walnut blasting. 
it does take a lot more time because some of these vehicles have this a lot worse so they would have to do this maintenance very often and even if they could do it themselves who wants to fool with all that if they can use an intake valve cleaner and solve this problem you have carbon buildup issues you need to take care of the problem maybe you don't have a lot of options you can't walnut blast so you're wondering about the intake valve cleaning well if you allow this carbon buildup to just continue building up what happens eventually that carbon buildup, some of it will break free. I mean, it's inevitable. I mean, you only have so much space around the intake valves. I don't know if that's the plan, just to allow it to build up around the intake valves, and maybe you're lucky and that won't cause a problem. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. You might buy yourself a very small amount of time, but then you're going to end up damaging your turbo. You're going to scratch the cylinder walls you're going to have a monster sized chunk probably break off, go into the combustion chamber and cause all kinds of havoc. Actually cleaning this up every so often with the intake valve cleaner, just watch your valves, see how fast they build up carbon buildup, use a borescope camera, this way you can monitor them and know if you need to clean them every 10,000 miles. Don't wait until the carbon buildup is extremely bad and then try to clean it off. If you'll do it every so often, then this will prevent it from building up too bad on you in the first place. That's the best way to go about it, preventive maintenance. Don't allow the problem to get bad. That's the only way you're gonna do this, or just sell your vehicle if you don't wanna go down that route. But the next vehicle you get, I'm sure will be a GDI engine as well. Guys, if you have any suggestions for these owners that have a GDI engine and they're having this problem, Hey, please drop down in the comments and let us know all about it. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.